everybody, I am Nicole, and this was week two of the Special Extensions Jazz class. Um, and here in, uh, I guess it's May, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so one of the things that I talked about for this class is the fact that uh, when you're partner dancing, there's structure involved, there's a vocabulary involved, there's another person involved. So sometimes it's a little safer, it feels a little safer. But when you're dancing alone, and it's all about you, there's a bit of a fear factor there. Um, and mostly that fear factor stems from possibly feeling foolish, right? Possibly looking like a dork. Um, so what I did was I picked a good chunk of the dorkiest, most foolish, most ridiculous jazz moves that I could think of that I like and made you learn them and made you dance them <laughs> facing each other so that you all look like fools and got relaxed about the fact that, guess what? Sometimes you look foolish and that's okay too. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go down the list and I'm gonna remind you of, the, of the, all the jazz steps that we worked on we mixed them and matched them and put them in different orders and did them to different songs. I'll let you work on that at home. So uh, first thing we worked on, we had a little pecking. So that's just isolating the head and the neck and bringing the head forward and back. And you can do fast peck or slow peck. You can add some arms to it and take a walk with it. Whatever makes you happy. <laughs> and we, then we moved down to the feet and we, walked, uh, we worked on something called the cool breeze. Basically it's just isolating those knees and we, we said you could do the arms up and down or you could lean from side to side. But the basic motion is the in and out of the legs, like a cool breeze, you're generating a cool breeze through your legs. <laughs> Ridiculous, isn't it? Okay. The next one we worked on was Spank the Baby. This one has a little bit more complicated to it. So there's a rhythm. Uh, you're actually spanking yourself. Yes, you are um, when you do this. And you want to make sure, like with every uh, Lindy Hop song, that you're accenting the two and the four and the six and the eight, the even numbers. So you're going to step out for one and hit two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you can go around or sideways or forward or backward, whatever makes you happy. <laughs> uh, next thing we did was the tick tock, and that just looks like this. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. And we worked on going both ways. You can feel free to play with it. Next thing we did was trucking, and we specifically talked about the trucking with a skate. So we used the skate to, uh, to accentuate it. We went like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is the skate action. This is the truck, the finger. That's the identifying marker of the truck. <laughs> uh, the next thing we worked on was just a simple shimmy. We just worked on isolating the shoulders and making sure that it's up here and not down here. <laughs> shimmy fast, pick the leg up, or shimmy slow, whatever the music calls for. Next one we did was the shoe shine. Shine your shoe. Change legs, shine your shoe. Change legs, shine your shoe. Uh, then we had a pimp walk. Bring the hand back, the left hand, the right hand, goes opposite position with your arms and your legs. You're bent over and you crisscross the legs. There's your pimp walk. Then we had some knee slaps and this one we have to remember again, we're accentuating the two and the four and the six and the eight. So you can either start on eight or if you miss the eight in the music, wait till the two. <laughs> so we worked on five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you can do same leg, or you can switch it up, or you can mix and match that. Uh, the Scarecrow, this one's a little more complicated and so a variation on um, Charleston. So it sort of follows a Charleston timing and pattern. You're gonna kick right, scoot back, Hit your scarecrow position, and then kick step to get out of it. It's an eight count. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, scarecrow, seven, eight. <laughs> and then, uh, the itch. Simple move. You just make claws and look like you're scratching various parts of your body on the, the, the various beats. I don't like to do a fast stitch because then it just looks kind of weird. I think it's more effective when you work with a slow itch. Um, the mess around. That's simple. You have a bounce and you roll your hips from front to back. I like to go both ways. It's better that way. <laughs> uh, and then here's another one, the hitchhike. So this one's a little more complicated as well. You're doing the twisting action of the 20s Charleston with your feet and you're doing hitchhike thumbs with your hands. So you go hitchhike, 
hitchhike, hitchhike, hitchhike. And finally, yep, finally, the last thing we did was slow motion because no Lindy Hopper is complete without understanding how funny slow motion is. All slow motion is is just moving literally in slow motion like time just slowed down and it's a lot funnier if you exaggerate your movement. So, <laughs> that's all the jazz stuff we worked on. We mixed and matched. I called them out. We had some fun. I hope you guys have fun too. Thanks a lot. Bye.